Okay, hey guys, Kyle Horton, Origami Butt. We're not doing Origami this time, surprisingly. So coding is uh, what I do when I'm not folding, I guess. So, And this tutorial is for one of my friends. See, so we are using the programming language Scratch, which is basically just a lot of blocks where you would click and drag them like onto each other to run the script you want. And you would like draw the costumes that you would want, and you can run sounds, and you would do stuff like that. And it's like a website also where people like share the projects. There are like featured projects here, and then there's one creator that like front pages stuff. Then they have these special studios that they switch like every once in a while. And it's pretty cool. And there's just a lot of cool people on here and a lot of great programs that it's just awesome um so this tutorial that i'm going to be doing today is a tutorial on making scrolling games so let's see here where's that game here we go i made that game and this tutorial is dedicated to one of my friends jaden fb 2021 so yeah, um, so scrolling is basically, so where you have, so the, the player is not moving, it stays in the same spot always, it's just the level that's moving that gives the player the illusion of moving. So I'll be teaching you how to do this, it's very simple, um, and all you need to do is have two sprites, I'll just redraw this real quickly, make it like a square or something. You know what, I like circles better. We'll make it a circle. Um, I don't care, whatever, sure. Um, and so what we'll do, I have a pre-made platforming script by DJ Pro here. And so, yeah. I won't be using this in this tutorial, but I might use it in future ones, so keep a lookout for that. And so we have our sprite. This is the player. We won't write the scripts yet, but we'll write that later. Then we'll design the level. So we can just... Um, oops. Yeah, there. Okay. Um, and we'll make it look like colorful or something. I don't know. Just make it colorful. Ah, I love colorful. I don't know. It's like totally random. Um, and so I'll just do the scroll X here, not the scroll Y, because that'll just... Like, you can do that yourself. So I'll just set the size to 150 to make it a bit bigger. Oops. Um, now we want to... Let's get it to go back to 0, 0. So, so the coordinate grid... The X is horizontal, and then up and down is Y, and the straight center is 0, 0, so we'll have that at 0, 0. Um, so then, what we want to do is just have simple gravity. I could use more blocks to make D-lag, but for this tutorial purposes, I won't. So each block does exactly what it says. This block, the when the green flag is clicked, it pretty much starts the program. And then forever, so this will repeat until you stop the program or you just close it out. Then we want an if statement. So forever if this key is pressed, so we'll go right arrow. Um, so in s normally we would just use forever if the right arrow key is pressed. You would change the X by whatever or something. But in this case, because we don't want the player to move, we want the level to move, we'll make a variable called scroll x. And so at the beginning, we want to set the scroll x to 0, because that is where this level will go. Scroll x times negative 1. Oh, I don't know why I clicked there. And so what we would want to do is like change scroll x by like 3 or something. And that'll represent how many pixels per right arrow key press or per frame this will move, so I think 3 might be good, I don't really know. 
Then we can just duplicate that by right clicking it and selecting duplicate. Then we can just drag it back in. Then we can change it to left arrow, change scroll X by negative three. And then we'll just do, we don't need jumping, do we? No, we're tough. <laughs> um, so then, so we want to get a Boolean here, which is basically these hexagonal things. They're Booleans. They're used for if statements and stuff. So like if forever not touching the level, oops, never renamed it. So if not touching the level, this adds gravity in. We will change the Y by like five or something. Oops, fail. Um, so this will move the level. This will move the level also. And this is the gravity. So it, whenever the ball is not touching that, it will go to, it, it'll change its Y position by five. So it'll go down. And I'll just set at the beginning a go to zero zero to get it back up there. So we'll test this. Oops, my bad. Negative five. Sorry, peoples. <laughs> my bad. Okay, so we got our gravity working. So that works. Then we want a go back go to back to the level sprite, and then when the green flag is clicked forever, we want this to go to scroll X. But if if I recall correctly, yeah, well, see when I'm pressing the left arrow button now, but the level's moving right. So what we want to do is just multiply scroll x by negative one, because the right, it's moving it by three. You could change it, but I think it's just a little too confusing when I do that. So now it just works properly. And that's a scrolling tutorial. If you want velocity, I'll probably make a tutorial on that. So all it is is really simple. You just need a sprite that doesn't really fit on the screen, or it, it can. It doesn't really matter, but I would go bigger. And then a variable scroll x, and then have the level forever go to scroll x times negative 1, or just scroll x if you want to invert that to a negative and invert that to a positive. But that's it, really. And so, yeah, simple tutorial today. And it works, so... Let's go Jaden FB 2021. Make something out of this, please. I'll check it out and Yeah. Uh I'll leave um, a link to all my scratch games in the description along with my wait. I'll and I'll yeah. Yeah. I'll just leave a link to my scratch games and stuff. Yeah, my my profile then, I guess. Um so yeah. I uh, hope you enjoyed today's video. If you do, please subscribe and like the video and comment. If you want to see more of this and if you have any recommendations on other Scratch tutorials you would like me to make, um, just leave a suggestion down in the comments and I'll try to get to it. So, uh, thanks for watching and bye.